spending more time travelling to the basement boys in Eaton Borough after a week off in the National League North. A winter day would see the moves go within one point of second place Stockport County, depending on how their tricky home game to AFC Telford goes. Nuneaton are a club in turmoil, £100,000 in debt and with bailiffs knocking at the door, their chairman Nick Hawkins left just this week. The Moors are clear favourites today with four wins in the last five league games but will need to be on their mettle to avoid a potential banana skin today against a team boosted by a few new signings since their 5-1 thumping at the hands of Boston United. That sees Matt Gold in goal, Callum Williams, James Curtis, a debut for Scott Harrison and Stephen Brogan in defence at left back. Chandler and Ramshaw will anchor the midfield and in front of them will be a trio of Mark Anderson, Liam Agnew and Andrew Johnson all in behind the league's top scorer Glenn Taylor and they are backed up with a substitution bench of Chris Thackeray, Chris Elliott, Ryan Hall, Shane Henry and Adam Boys. It's going to be a good game, we've got two contrasting teams in completely two different sort of places uh, in National League North. Um, we've seen Dan Eaton right now sort of bottom of National League North or we have Spennymore a third and a a pressing for promotion. Williams has the ball on the right hand side and in the centre circle with Jamie Chandler. To the left hand side now with Harrison and into Berra's half. Along the floor to Anderson, he's in the hole here. He can pick something out, it's a great ball at the box. Might fall here for Agnew who's trying to turn inside the six yard box and it's blocked. blocked. Important block from Baxendale as Johnson tries to keep that alive on the edge but Anderson, that's, what he, that's where he loves to pop up in that kind of number 10 spot in behind the striker, in between the lines where he can slide rule balls into the penalty area and that's what he did for Agnew there. The danger's not over actually here as Ramshaw picks it up on the edge of the area looking to deliver it towards Taylor but that's blocked again by Sharp and now here's, here is Taylor who's come and picked it up on the edge of the box. Anderson again who's seen plenty of the ball in the final third, it's a great ball for Ramshaw. The flag's gone up, he was in behind. It's offside, but another good move there, and moves are starting to the turn now, Cameron. Yeah, it, it seems with, with more possession they're having, they're, they're being able to break them down now, but it's possession in the midsection um, or in the non-eaten half, um, and it's, it's causing problems now. There's a bit more patience in their players. Now square to Curtis, and Moors are being very patient in possession here, but it's good to see them having to further up the pitch, and that's Anson with a lovely turn in behind. He's Ramshaw, he's into the box, and it's a good save from Cam Belford to deny Robert Ramshaw, and you're just starting to feel a little bit, Cameron, like it might be a matter of time before Moors take the lead. Yeah, turning the screw is happening right now. We've got Brogan again on the attack here in another dangerous position. Looking for Taylor, headed away by Calvary behind for a corner to Spenny Moore Town. trying to open, open that gap as Allen goes in behind here and tries to turn it across the face and it's a good save to deny Edmonds from Gold right in his line there and it's deflected behind possibly for a corner but Williams will prevent the corner then what had happened the long ball had come in behind and it looked for all the world like it was going to go out and play but the energy of Allen again causing problems for Spenny Town as he kept it in as it it's a long kick from Belford towards the edge of the spending room penalty area and Williams made another meal of it and it's a shot from Edmonds and it's just wide well it's a very very clever effort Cameron yeah, you had um, gold sort of off his line and not covering, and uh, he just torpedoed it around the corner there. Ball down the line straight, Chandler, could he shoot? Perhaps no, he's going to try and drive forwards with it. Back to the edge of the box on the right-hand side, can he cross? He's forced backwards by Birch. Here's Ramshaw with the ball at his feet inside the Agnew, it's turning behind him. Chandler's away here, this is going to be a big chance, he's in the penalty area, can he cross from the right hand side, it's pulled back, there's Anderson, oh he's sliced in air slice, Brogan picks it up, it's blocked, Anderson's still in the box, tries to set it off for Agnew, deflected, wide, oh, I thought that had gone in because it hit the, it hit the stanchion that's holding the net up behind the goal and that's Moose's best moment of the whole, whole game just a couple of minutes into the second half. Complete bombardment there from Spennymore uh, on the Dunedin goal. Um, they've got to say some scra good scramble defence there, Adam. Yeah, yeah, impressive uh, from Spennymore. Lovely to move on the right hand side, Ramshaw, and I think it was uh, Imagine Williams turned it down the line there for Chandler to get away in uh, uh, an unorthodox position for the central midfielder, the right wing, but he, he powered into the box and delivered a good ball in, which Anderson possibly could have done better with. Here's the corner, comes in, just over Harrison's head, here's Taylor, and he's left! Saved! Good chance. Big chance and there's an appeal for a penalty as well as the ball came back. It looked as though uh, Miles Addison had kind of caught the ball while he was on the floor and spun on it. But uh, the referee's not interested in the slightest. Big chance for Spenny Moore, saved well by Cam Belford. Again, that last ditch, sort of desperate defending. Meeting Berry shielded it behind and was happy for, to receive a corner. It's going to be taken on the right hand side by uh, 
Ryan Edmonds, who's got a decent right foot, as we saw in the first half. He whipped one right on the post and it's delivered right on goal. And it's headed inches, inches over the crossbar. And it's been given as a corner, actually. It was Morrison there who, Lewis Morrison, who went careering over the top of James Curtis. And Curtis must have got something on it. Drogan looking for options, slides one to Ramshaw, lovely little flicking behind, he's Anderson spinning in the box, back to Ramshaw, this time's Johnson, great save, it's a great move from Spenny Moore, lovely, lovely silty football inside the penalty area, one touch stuff, and it's a big save again from Cam Belford, who's becoming really a key figure for Burrow to keep him in the game here. Honestly, the way he blitzed out there, uh, in blitzkrieg fashion, and just managed to stop that from going, it was incredible, because I was certain from that far out again, it was going to be a goal, uh, Belford is keeping the borough in the game at the moment. The eventual shot left foot from Andrew Johnson inside the box was surely going to be a goal. We all thought I was off my seat there, ready to celebrate, um, maybe ready to start getting characteristically excited, but um, good save from Cam Belford, and it's going to be a corner to Spenny Moore, broken to take, left-hand side, out swing at edge of the six-yard box, and it's just over the bar. Agonising from Scott Harrison on his debut. Bounced back to him, but Birch will take that away from him on the run. But it's won back well by Agnew. Here's Ramshaw on the right wing, into the final third. Can he take on... He can, he's in the box, Ramshaw, on his left foot, he's brought down! Oh, he's going to be booked for diving, Robert Ramshaw. It's going to be booked for diving, I thought. Possible penalty. The Nuneaton players aren't impressed with Robert Ramshaw, who's called over by the referee. Robert Ramshaw's trying to show the referee a mark on his boot. Yellow card shown for Robert Ramshaw for diving there. Just over 10 minutes to go here at Liberty Way. It's a good ball from Harrison. Ramshaw on the edge of the box. Here's Anderson. Can move his card from Anderson's gone through with his left foot. And it's deflected behind for a corner for Spenny Town. Yeah, we, we, we can see it now. I mean, they're, they're, going, they're going to a level now where I think you are not really struggling to stay in the game. Um, as we said, there's, there is not long left now. Spenny Moore fans are making a ruckus behind the uh, behind the goal now. Some Trying noise to... coming from about about 25 to 30 Spenny Moore fans, I'd say. Maybe, maybe not quite that many. I'd say about 25. Uh, good noise being made there. Can their side reward them with a goal here from the Stephen Grogan corner? It's driven with the left foot to the penalty spot. Shira scores! And it's that man again, Cameron. It's Spenny Moore who take the lead. And guess who? Glenn Taylor. Signed his contract. He's trotting down to the coaches, gives a high five. And the, the emotion was so bad of his relief, isn't it? It's relief. Um, Absolutely. And they've been knocking on the door without banging on the door, really, Spenny Moore. And it's the talisman this season. 25 goals for Glenn Taylor. The top scorer in the National League North has just shown just how valuable he is. Up, got there in the end. He's Taylor turning on the corner towards Hall on the edge of the Spenny Moore box. Anderson's challenged, but it's fallen kindly for Chandler, who's taken exception to Taylor Allen's tackle on him. Matt Gold can just take his time with the ball at his feet and roll it out to Alan Williams. Launched down the line. Here's the pace of Hall looking to get away from Sharp. He's delivered a deep loop and ball at the box, and Taylor's been dragged all over. How's that not a penalty? Anderson scores anyway. Anderson scores anyway. Could have been a penalty, I think, but concrete penalty. But it doesn't matter. Anderson smashed it home, bottom corner, uh, and Belford was tested there again. Truly tested. We did get hands up. Two much Spenny Moore now, and uh, Anderson is away into the crowd to celebrate with the Moore's fans who've made probably the longest away trip of the season to watch their team today. And, Struggled a little bit up to about the hour mark, and then Moose have taken control from that point. And there's a full time whistle, and a successful away day for Spenny Moore Town. It's finished. Dunedin Barry Nil, Spenny Moore Town 2. Glenn Taylor firing the Moose ahead from a Stephen Brook corner before. Mark Anderson swept on the visitors' second. The way Spenny will play in the second half, uh, especially the last 20 minutes, last 15 minutes, um, was a joy to watch. Um, I think it was quite hard for me throughout the first half to deal with the way 
Nuneaton defended, uh, they were very set in formation, they were tough to break down, um, but they, they found a way to spend even one and that's what we've got to do.